Today's topic is the formation of phosphorus. In this video, we will understand how phosphorus is formed through flow seed diagram. In today's video, we will discuss the following points. So let's start. Before we proceed further, it's important to clarify a common misconception about phosphorus. The commonly referred to yellow phosphorus is actually white phosphorus. However, when white phosphorus is heated, it undergoes a transformation and becomes red phosphorus. This process is known as thermal conversion or thermal modification. Red phosphorus is the most stable and less reactive form compared to white phosphorus. First of all, we will know what is phosphorus. Phosphorus is a chemical element with the symbol P and atomic number 15. It is a nonmetal that belongs to the nitrogen group of elements on the periodic table. Phosphorus is highly reactive and exists in various forms. The molecular weight of white phosphorus, also known as yellow phosphorus, is approximately 123.3 grams per mole. It has a melting point of 44.1 degrees Celsius and a boiling point of 280 degrees Celsius. The density of white phosphorus in its solid state is approximately 1.82 grams per cc, while its liquid density at 45 degrees Celsius is around 1.74 grams per cc. The molecular weight of red phosphorus is approximately 123.9 grams per mole. It has a melting point of 593 degrees Celsius, and its solid density is approximately 2.36 grams per cc. In terms of uses, phosphorus actually has various applications in detergents, food, as a nutrient, as well as compounds such as phosphorus oxychloride, phosphorus trichloride, phosphorus pentoxide, and red phosphorus. These compounds find use in various industries and chemical processes. When phosphorus is manufactured in the industry, the following reaction takes place. To produce phosphorus, low-grade phosphate rock, coke, and sand are primarily required. First of all, we will learn about all the equipment used in the production of phosphorus, and then we will understand its working process step by step. This is a grinder, used to convert large pieces into small pieces or powder form. In the manufacture of phosphorus, phosphate rock is ground using a grinder. This is called a sintera, which applies high temperature and pressure to a solid, improving its electrical resistivity and compacting particles to bond them together. This process often results in improved material properties and helps prevent the entrainment of fines in the released phosphorus and carbon dioxide vapor. The sintering process consists of three main steps. First, heating up, second, compacting, and third, cooling. In the production of phosphorus, high temperature and pressure are applied to the phosphate rock with a coke bridge, and the final stage involves cooling with air. And it is called a screen, which is a type of filter with different mesh numbers. Different mesh number filters are used in the industry according to the specific process. Small sized particles pass through the screen, while oversized particles do not. In the manufacture of phosphorus, the phosphate rock, along with the coke bridge mix, is screened using screens, the smaller particles pass through the screen, while the larger particles are sent to the recycler for recycling. It is a type of belt conveyor that transports the material from the screen to the electric furnace. In this conveyor, sand and coke breeze are also mixed with the material received from the screen. This is called an electric furnace, designed as a 250 to 300 volt AC three-phase furnace. Power is provided to a 100 to 150 centimeters diameter carbon electrode on each phase, resulting in temperatures inside the furnace reaching around 1400 degrees Celsius. An air cooler is used to generate a vacuum inside the furnace. The device known as an electrostatic precipitator operates by generating electrostatic forces to remove dust particles from gases. In this process, dust particles are effectively removed from the gases through the use of an electrostatic precipitator. And it is a type of water-cooled condenser that converts a gas from the gaseous phase to the liquid phase. In this process, it converts phosphorus gas into liquid phosphorus. And this is a type of converter called a batch converter. The temperature inside it is around 250 degrees Celsius, and a reflux condenser is fitted in it, through which the process of condensation and reflux takes place. In this process, thermal conversion or thermal modification occurs, converting yellow phosphorus into red phosphorus, and the conversion rate is around 70%. And red phosphorus is ground using this grinder, along with sodium carbonate, which is also ground. The ground mixture is then sent to the washing vessel. 
where red phosphorus is washed with water and sodium carbonate to remove unstable yellow phosphorus and any residual impurities present in it. And finally, the red phosphorus obtained from the washing vessel is sent to the dryer, where it is dried by adding 1% MgO to it. Now let us understand the working process of phosphorus production with step-by-step -step flow sheet diagram so let's start. Firstly, phosphate rock pieces are sent to a grinder where they are ground into a powder form. The powdered phosphate rock is then transferred from the grinder to a sinterer. Additionally, coke breeze is also sent to the sinterer. Here, the phosphate rock is heated and subjected to high pressure while keeping the temperature below its melting point. This helps improve the electrical resistivity of the material. The process consists of three main steps. Firstly, heating is applied to fuse the phosphate rock particles together, forming a solid mass. The temperature during this step ranges from 1280 to 1400 degrees Celsius. The second step involves compacting the fused mass under high pressure, enhancing its mechanical strength and stability. Finally, the sintered phosphate rock undergoes a process called cooling which improves its solidification and stabilization properties. After the heating, compacting, and cooling stages are complete, the phosphate rock is sent for screening. In this step, the particle size of the phosphate rock is adjusted according to the desired specifications. A screen with the required mesh number is used to achieve the desired particle size. Particles that meet the mesh requirements pass through the screen and are directed to the conveyor belt, while any oversized particles are recycled for further processing. The phosphate rock, along with coke breeze and sand, is transported to the electric furnace via a conveyor belt. The main process of reduction takes place inside the electric furnace, where the following reaction occurs, resulting in the formation of phosphorus along with a byproduct in the form of slag. The slag finds applications in various industries. Furthermore, the phosphorus gas from the electric furnace, along with dust and carbon monoxide gas, is directed to an electrostatic precipitator for further treatment. If you would like a detailed description of the electric furnace, please let me know. The dust particles present in the phosphorus gas are separated from the gas using an electrostatic precipitator. Then, the gas is directed into the tower through the bottom section of the water spray condenser tower. In this tower, a continuous flow of cooling water is sprayed from the top section. When the water and gas come into contact the phosphorus gas dissolves in the water, transforming into a liquid state. It is then collected in a storage tank often referred to as yellow phosphorus, where water is also mixed. Meanwhile, the carbon monoxide gas, which does not dissolve in water, escapes from the top section of the tower and is utilized as fuel in synthesis gas. The yellow phosphorus obtained from the tower is subsequently sent to a batch converter to produce red phosphorus. The process of thermal conversion, also known as thermal modification, takes place to convert yellow phosphorus into red phosphorus. In this process, yellow phosphorus is heated for a duration of 6 to 8 hours at a temperature of approximately 250 degrees Celsius. As a result, the molecular structure of yellow phosphorus undergoes changes, leading to the formation of red phosphorus. The conversion occurs during the heating period. Once the heating process is complete, the red phosphorus is obtained as a solid state through the cooling process. The solid red phosphorus obtained from the batch converter is ground using a grinder. During the grinding process, sodium carbonate is added for washing purposes. The ground red phosphorus is then washed in a vessel containing water and sodium carbonate to separate it from any remaining yellow phosphorus and residues. The washing process helps in obtaining purified red phosphorus. Next, the purified red phosphorus is transferred to a red phosphorus dryer. Where it undergoes drying, this drying process involves the addition of 1% magnesium oxide to facilitate the drying of red phosphorus. Finally, we obtain red phosphorus according to our requirements.